In the shop today, we have a 2001 Ford Explorer with a four liter VIN-E engine. It has a little over 150,000 miles and is storing a trouble code PO304. Cylinder four misfire. The misfire is severe enough to cause the check engine light to flash. The spark plugs have recently been replaced by a local tech. When the check engine light flashes, the computer is saying the misfire can potentially cause catalytic converter damage and this engine is emitting very high emissions. There are three elements needed to be present to produce combustion in a cylinder. They are suitable compression, air fuel ratio, and spark. Spark was the easiest place to begin on this vehicle, so that was where we started. Because this is a distributorless ignition system, for the spark to cause a single cylinder misfire, the current must be taking a shortcut to the block by bypassing one of the spark plugs. If one of the coil sections stopped firing completely, two cylinders would be misfiring. Some engines will use ignition control module to control the primary windings of the coil. But this particular system uses the powertrain control module or computer. Because only one cylinder is misfiring, we know the computer and the crank sensor must be functioning correctly. It is still possible the coil current could be reaching the block by firing through its bottom. Using an insulated boot removal tool, we briefly detach number four ignition wire from the coil, and as you can see, the coil is properly firing. We then connected a test light to the battery negative. While power braking the engine, ran the probe end along the wire path to the spark plug. If there is any secondary voltage leakage in the ignition wire, it will jump to the probe of the test light. Remember, do not hold the test light by the probe end. Right there. You can see it arcing to the probe just before we reach this plug boot. Another easy way to check for secondary leak is to spray it with water. Water will help the conductive path, and when a leak is present, you should hear and or see the spark jump, like this. This confirms we have a defective ignition wire causing the misfire. The questions I asked myself were, why did it fail, and is there anything I can do to help prevent future failures? The ignition wire failed because most likely the tech who installed the spark plugs left it out of one of the looms, right there. He also moved the heat deflection sock on the EGR tube out of position, exposing the wire to exhaust temperatures, causing it to crack. We replaced the ignition wires and routed them properly in the looms. We also slid the EGR tube sock into position. When you complete a job, always, always, always take the time to at least visually check your work. Just those couple of minutes can save you a lot of headaches. After all, because of the mistakes made on this vehicle, it was on the verge of causing a costly catalytic converter failure. That's it for today. See you again next time in the Wells Garage.